Alright, here we go. So this right here is the first ever COD game. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this video. I love stuff like this. I just find it really interesting, like watching the evolution of COD Trickshot and just seeing like how much it has changed throughout the years. But yeah, if you guys haven't ever played these uh, older COD games, they're really hard to hit shots on. But yeah, look at this. Like, I don't know how he done this. He hit a ladder bounce on COD 1. What are you doing, buddy? That was insane. Moving over to Call of Duty 2, and if you guys haven't ever played these older games, Trickshot is actually really hard. I don't know how to explain it, but like, the more you spin, the quicker it gets. Like, look at this clip. Look how much he starts spinning. So it starts out really slow, and then the more you spin, the quicker it gets. It's really weird. Hopefully that made sense. But yeah, Trickshot is really hard on uh, on these older games. I've only ever Trickshot on COD 2, so this one. I haven't actually tried one or three, but I really want to. I actually want to go back and try them out. But yeah, look at that. So clean. I actually love this game for Trickshot. So, for some reason, COD 3 only has two snipers in it. I don't know why, but they only have two. But yeah, look at this. He does a crazy-ass slide off of his split screen. He backs out his split screen and then hits that. I don't even know how you've done that. That is insane. But yeah, I also have another slide shot. I don't know why, but you can just go for the most crazy shots on this. I mean, look at this. He just goes for a slide and then slaps it. It's so stupid. It looks so fun, man. I really want to try it. Oh, here we go. COD 4. This is where things are going to start getting a little more interesting. And we're starting out with Kenny hitting one of the one of the best trick shots on COD 4, honestly. Like, this clip right here is insane. I have no idea how he hit that. But um, moving over to the Dragonov, my man is on top of wet work. And I don't know how he didn't hit mark at this, but he just slaps it with a Dragonov. That is insane. Such a nice clip. But anyway, moving over to the R700, and my man just hits a nice little wall bang. And not gonna lie, I didn't actually know you could wall bang that, which is kind of cool. Okay, the M21, this clip right here took me so long to find. It turns out not that many people trick shot with the M21, because you just get hit markers. But anyway, ending it off with a Barrett trick shot, bounce, boom, by Sean. I don't really know what I'm saying, but that was cool. World of War was actually my first ever Call of Duty game, so this game right here, it holds a special place in my heart, and I know that sounds stupid, but I just love this game. I feel like it was very underappreciated. I feel like people played COD 4 and MW2, and they just missed out on World of War. I don't know why, but anyway, moving on from that, because we actually have a clip by me back when I was in Orbit. Look at that, Orbit Dezo. I hit that like seven, eight years ago. Massive throwback, man. It's making me miss this game, just watching this, man. The campaign, zombies. I'd love to see it get, like, a remaster or something. But anyway, we have the final clip right here by Sean, and he just slaps an absolute banger. But anyway, moving over to MW2. So, MW2. Is this the greatest trick shot game of all time? I don't know. I would say BO2 is, but let me know in the comments if you disagree with me. But yeah, look at that. We have the intervention and we've got the ill cams. I think 38 opener by Phase Twist. One of the greatest MW2 trick shots of all time. Love to see it. But anyway, the WA2000. And this clip I thought was going to be really hard to find, but it turns out a lot of people actually trick shot with this sniper. I don't know why. But yeah, that didn't take that long to find. But yeah, that was so nice. In Scrapyard, he just slaps it. Uh, what we got next? We got the Barrett. I think this is a uh, Phase One. It's a two-piece, and I believe this is like the clip that got him into Phase. I might be wrong about that, but I think that was what got him into Phase. But yeah, that was super nice with the Barrett. Let's see that again in the kill cam. Nice little two-piece. So clean, man. I don't even know where the guy was. He just slapped that. That was crazy. But yeah. M21, EBR, we got OBJ before phase, and look at this. So he slaps a crane shot, but the guy leaves the game. So he doesn't even get the kill cam. I would be so sad, man. But yeah, moving over to Black Ops. 
so I think I actually had a addiction to this game back in the day. Unless I was asleep or at school, I was playing Black Ops. I just love this game. But anyway, Gondi hit him with the L96A1. I believe this was his first in red. I might be wrong on that. But yeah, just look how nice this was. Such a clean shot. And it's got to be like one of the most iconic snipers in COD history. But anyway, moving over to the WA2000. And uh, this was actually a really hard clip to find. Turns out not that many people trick shot with the WA2000 on Black Ops. Uh, but yeah, his kill cam started lagging there. And I thought he was going to like lose the clip. But luckily the kill cam and the lag sorted itself out. And it was all fine. But yeah, that was really nice clip. Uh, but yeah, moving over to the Dragonov, and my guy just tags him, and then goes for the shot, and slaps it. Once again, this was also a really hard clip to find, because who's trick shot with the Dragonov? I mean, no one's doing it. You're gonna get hit, Marker. By the way, if my commentary sucks, I do apologize. I'm trying to do this in one take, so if I mess up, I'm just gonna keep rolling, you know? But yeah, moving over to the final sniper, we've got the PSG, and we've got Zymzy. And he just hits a random ass ladder sword. I mean, look at that. That was so random. Such an insane shot, man. I think Zymzy has to be like one of the best trick shots we have ever seen. He was just insane at every game. But yeah, look at that. Such a nice shot. But yeah, moving over to Modern Warfare 3. So, hot take. But I would say MW3 was actually better than MW2. And I feel like not that many people are going to agree with me on that. And it's all good. I get it. But I just honestly loved MW3. I, I think it was such a better game. Maybe not trick shot on, But like as an overall game, I should say, I think it was better. But I think if this game had YYs and better maps, I, I think it would have been better than MW2. Uh, but yeah, I feel like not that many people will agree with me on that, but I just loved MW3. Once again, I was addicted to this game. 2011, I, I could not get off this game. I loved it. But yeah, he hits with a dragon orb, by the way. Like, how? That's so dumb. Uh, but yeah, moving over to the L11AA. Uh, this shot was by Gondi uh, in one of his videos. Yeah, that was an insane shot. I've actually hit that once, and it took forever. Such an insane shot. Look at that, slide out the map on Erosion. If you guys don't know, this map is on the face-off game mode, which is the greatest game mode of all time. I wish they brought it back, but they never did. It was so much fun. Uh, but yeah, this shot is set up. I could not find a shot that was unset up with this sniper. I mean, no one's going to trick shot with this thing. I mean, come on. It is, it's so stupid. I mean, Sea Dog, you're crazy for this one, buddy. Uh, Moab shot as well on a DLC map, which is pretty cool. But that thing is just a hit marker machine. Uh, but yeah, crazy shot, my man. Uh, this shot, I believe, is actually on PC. And I didn't realize until just now. But he hits a Moab shot out the map. Look at that. He just slaps it. Such a clean shot. Yeah, that is definitely PC. And you can just hear him freaking out in the background. That laugh. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Maybe I should shut up so you can hear it. But yeah, such an insane shot. Moab shot, boom, so nice man, with the gold camo, beautiful, but anyway, moving over to the Barra, and this is the final clip, and he is under the map, not gonna lie, I can't even remember what map this is, but yeah, he just goes under the map with the Barra, FMG 9s, and just slap it, so clean, so nice, I love MW3 man, I really want to get back and start making more videos on this game, so much fun, but yeah, look at that, one more time in the kill cam, beautiful, but yeah, moving over to my favorite Call of Duty game ever made. So, we are starting out with the DSR, and we have MJD hitting one of the most iconic trick shots on Black Ops 2 of all time. I mean, trying to find one trick shot to pick on this game was impossible. I mean, there's been so many iconic shots here on Black Ops 2. I would say... This game has the most trick shots hit on it. I can't see how any other game can have less trick shots on it. If that makes any sense at all. But yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, moving over to the SVU. And we have FaZe Linksy hitting a window shot. I don't know how he hit this. This is insane. Even now, it is insane. But yeah, look at this. So he tags the guy. Goes for a window shot. Cyborg camo. Such an iconic shot, man. You love to see it. So clean. 
Uh, but yeah, moving over to the Ballista. Now with the Ballista, I couldn't find an iconic shot with it. Other than Phase Rain's free piece or Blaziken's free piece. But they had face cam reactions and I wanted the raw clip. So I found this. I thought it was cool. So I decided to use it. He also hit that with no laser, which looked kind of weird not gonna lie but yeah that was still insane but anyway moving over to the final clip we have the xpr and he just slaps it across the entire map i don't know how he hit that but he did it's insane uh, but yeah, I also think this is one of the most iconic shots of all time as well. I feel like everyone has seen this. But yeah, look at that. He nearly dies as well. But yeah, such an insane shot, man. Love to see it. I love how everyone hated this game when it first released. And now everyone loves it. It's done a complete 180. And I feel like people are now realizing how bad COD is and like the state that it's in. Compared to like back when this game first released and it's now getting the respect that it deserves if that makes any sense I don't know if it does. Hopefully it does. But yeah enough of that little ramble My man is about to hit a shot with the VKS now this shot is a banger But he didn't disable resample which is really annoying because now it looks ugly if you guys know what that is you can probably see what I mean. But yeah, it just, it looks horrible. I wish he would have disabled it. But yeah, still a nice shot though. Super clean. But yeah, moving over to the USR and we have Brio. Uh, I can't remember if he hit this before phase or after phase. But either way, this was an absolute banger. Look at this. Does a little, uh, is it an ammo box stool? I'm not really sure what that thing is. But yeah, that was a crazy ass shot. Let's watch that one more time in the kill cam. He hit that as a level 35. So this must have been like when ghosts first come out. But yeah, that was a crazy shot. But uh, moving over to the Maverick. I think this was the DLC sniper. I might be wrong about that. But yeah, I actually never hit a shot with this. And I always wanted to. So I might go back to ghosts and see if I can hit a shot with it. I think that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, let's see that again in the kill cam. Just slaps it across the map. That is so nice. But yeah, moving over to the final clip right here. We've got the links on... Uh, I can't actually remember what map this is. Uh, but anyway, he gets a crazy out the map shot. And the cool thing about this is it actually got patched shortly after. So there's only a few shots from this spot, which makes it even better. So, hot take, but I think this trick shot by Zymzy is one of the best trick shots ever hit in COD history, period. I don't know why, but people never talk about this trick shot ever. And I think it might be because when people think of iconic shots, they think of BO2, MW2. They never think of AW, if that makes sense. They sort of just push this game aside, which sucks because this shot should be up there with one of the best shots of all time. I mean, it is one of the best shots of all time. But yeah, anyway, moving over to the NA45. Now, this is a weird sniper, and it's weird because it literally gives you EB. And I know that sounds weird, but yeah, this, this gives you EB. If you guys can see in the kill cam, when he shoots, it explodes. And I think the way this works is if you shoot the first bullet and then shoot the second bullet next to the first bullet, this is really weird to explain, it will explode. I think that's how it works. Uh, yeah, so that gun literally gave you EB, which is very weird. But yeah, moving over to the Lynx, I sort of just skip past this sniper. But yeah, he hits a crazy ass shot on a DLC map. Beautiful combo beautiful camo i mean this shot was just perfect look at that so clean man with the links as well you never really see people trick shot with the links uh but yeah anyway moving over to the svo and we are back on solar this map is honestly so fun for trick shot and i wish they found a way to bring it back into like newer cod games i would love to see this game get a remake but i just don't think it would work without like the exo movement so yeah, I, I, I don't think we'll, we will ever see this map ever again and it sucks. But yeah, anyway, moving over to the final clip and we have the Atlas. This gun gives, gives me like Halo vibes, if that makes sense. I don't know why. But yeah, with this sniper, you can't actually no scope. You have to quick scope. So uh, yeah, that was really weird. I don't know why they done that, but they did. But that was a beautiful shot. But yeah, moving over to Black Ops 3. 
so it's been like two hours of me trying to record this i don't know if you guys can tell in my voice but i've been talking so much that my voice is going i just keep messing up i keep stuttering and i'm trying to do it in one take so i have to keep redoing it so my voice is slowly going i might have to do this again tomorrow but yeah anyway look at this my man just hits a crazy ass shot with the svg across the map that is insane man i don't know how you done that that's crazy but yeah black ops 3 i never actually played black ops 3 in its prime which sucks because i love black ops 3 and i can't even imagine how fun it was in its prime and i i just feel like i really missed out um but it's all good it is what it is but yeah this man hits with the po6 and i don't know if you guys have ever tried trick shot with this sniper but it's really awkward to trick shot with so i don't know how he actually done that but yeah moving over to the dragoon and this sniper was a bitch to try and find it turns out no one has this sniper unlocked and if they do they don't trick shot because why would they <laughs> so yeah this was so hard to find i actually ended up getting reaper online because he has this and we ended up we ended up slapping a uh, setup shot and it was really bad and then like two weeks later after the shot i found this clip right here deep on the web so i decided to use that so yeah luckily i found that because if not you would have had a really bad setup trick shot from me but still it was all good but yeah this man hits a crazy ass shot with the ras and I feel like I'm slowly going insane from watching Call of Duty trick shots. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, that was crazy. Look at that. That is like one of the best trick shots in this whole video. And this video is like 40 minutes long. Like that is insane, that shot. I don't know how he done that. But yeah, this uh, trick shot right here is by Reaper. And I actually dragged him on BO3 because I needed a trick shot with the XPR. And no one trick shots with the XPR. So I dragged him on. I was like, Reaper... I need you to hit this. He was like, yeah, I got you. He got on. He hit it. I was a happy boy. But yeah, that was a nice shot. Um, I was in this lobby. I was hosting it. That was actually nice. Good shit, man. By the way, if you guys ever want to get in my lobbies, go follow me on Kick. Little plug. I, uh, I stream open lobbies all the time. So yeah, if you ever want to join me, feel free. But yeah, that shot was insane. And I can't believe he actually didn't hit mark of that. I have no idea how he didn't. Yeah, that was insane, man. So clean. Let's, uh, let's watch that again in the kill cam. So nice. Boom. That was actually quite far as well. That was insane. But yeah, anyway, we have the uh, little DSR wannabe. He cut the clip a little bit short, so we're getting straight into it. But yeah, he just slaps that across the entire map. So clean. I don't actually know how he hit that. I don't even know where the guy was. Let me see that again. Wait. Where was he? I can't even see him. Uh, oh, okay, he was over there. For some reason, I thought you wall banged that. But yeah, this is the uh, the final clip right here with the locust, and he's actually getting into a glitch spot. And I feel like this is patched now. Uh, but yeah, he just slaps it across the entire map into the water. That was so nice. Let's uh, let's see that one more time in the kill cam. So clean. I've always wanted to actually hit a shot with the locust. I don't know why. I just think it looks so nice for Trickshawn. But yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, moving over to the next game. So yeah, yesterday I completely lost my voice. I spent like two hours trying to do this in one take. I kept messing up. I had to keep restarting. So I ended up losing my voice. So we're picking up today. But it is all good because we have my man hitting a bounce trick shot with the KBS. Look at that. So clean. I had no idea you could bounce trick shot on infinite warfare so that was kind of cool that's crazy i actually kind of want to try it out it looks like fun but yeah i suck at infinite warfare so i probably wouldn't be able to hit the bounce i think you have to like boost into it or something like that i'm not really too sure but it looks like fun but yeah we've got joshy hits bills hitting an absolute banger with the dmr i feel like i recognize that gamer tag joshy hits bills i feel like he used to play with the red guys but yeah anyway moving over to the m1 and we actually have a zombies trick shot. I could not find any shots with the M1. No one uses it. I mean, it's a hit marker machine, so I don't blame them. So yeah, I had to take a zombie trick shot. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. But yeah, moving over to this. I, I have no idea what I just watched. He hit a crazy ass bounce. He's tilted. And that sniper looks like it should be in Halo. I don't know what I just watched, but... That was kind of cool. But anyway, moving over to the TF141. And yeah, he does that. I have no idea what he just done. That sniper, isn't that like the intervention 
I think it looks like the intervention. I don't know. I can't really remember. I never really played Infinite Warfare, but yeah. He slaps a crazy ass shot. That was kind of cool. But moving over to the uh, Widowmaker. And look at this. He's out the map going for a nuke shot. And he just slaps it. That is insane. But yeah, one thing you will notice about Infinite Warfare is it feels like not that many casual players play this game. At least casual trick shots, I should say, play this game. It's all the complex, like, setup players play this. I, I guess this game you can just do a lot of complex stuff. So yeah, there's not that many, like, casual trick shots in this. But yeah, anyway, moving over to this shot, it is actually by me on private match. No one trick shots with this sniper. So yeah, I, I could not find one. So I loaded up private match and hit that. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. That sniper is really weird to hit with. The no scopes just, yeah, it, they suck. It took me so long. But anyway, moving over to the Trek 50. And we have my man hitting a bounce trick shot. Look at this. So clean. I think this has to be my favorite Infinite Warfare clip out of all these clips. I just think it looks so nice, like the bounce with the Trek reload, like, it just looks so nice. He pulled off that combo perfectly. But anyway, moving over to the final clip, and we have Joshi Hits Bills once again, hitting with the EBR 800. Absolute banger. And that camo, that camo looked insane. He had like a, a pink camo. I don't know what it's called, but it looks nice. Look at that, beautiful. But yeah, that is a great way to end it off. But yeah, moving over to Modern Warfare Remastered. I love how everyone just skipped out on Infinite Warfare and played this game instead for the whole year, including me. I did not play Infinite Warfare at all. I hated that game. But yeah, it was really weird. But anyway, we have my man Icy hitting an absolute banger across the map on Crash. Now, this might be a hot take. But I think Icy is probably the best trickshot we have ever seen on this game. He is an absolute beast. His combos, he hits consistently. He is just an absolute beast, man. But anyway, we have a Dragonov trickshot across the map on Kill House. Look at that. How did he not get a hit marker? But he just P-swaps across the map. Beautiful. You love to see it. Joshi hits bills once again. That's kind of cool. But anyway, we got the D25S. Now, I don't know how to feel about this sniper. It looks weird. It looks like it should be like an ACR, but it's not. It's a sniper. I don't know. It looks weird to me, but that was still an absolute banger. He just hits her across the map. I don't even know what map this is. I mean, I know what map it is. I don't know the name. I never played this map. I know I back out every time I get that map, though. But anyway, we've got the R700, and my man just slaps a banger. Look at that. Nice little wall bang. It looked a little bit set up. You could see the guy sort of jumping up and down. But I don't know. Maybe that was unset up. But he gets an inspect. 1080. Inspect again. And boom. Slaps it. That was really nice. I wonder if that was set up or not. I don't know. It was cool though. But anyway, look at this. We've got the M21. And my man just slaps it across the map. Like, come on, buddy. That was insane. How did he do that? The guy was like in the window. Once again... It looked a little set up, but I don't know. But he does an inspect across the map. Super sick shot, nonetheless. Beautiful stuff. But anyway, moving over to the s tag. Now, this is probably the cleanest shot in this. Look at this. Oh my god! Yeah, that is insane. I don't even know who he hit or how he hit that. He shot through, like, the whole building. Like, what? That is insane. The s tag is such a clean sniper, man. Look at that. Yo. So nice. Oh Icy God, once again. Yo. That's what I'm saying. Like, he is the best. But anyway, we have the final clip right here. We have the Barrett. And my man just hits a ladder saw and just slaps it. For a second, I thought he was, like, in the building. And that was, like, across the whole map. But he was just there in front of him. But, yeah. So nice, man. Look at that. One more time in the kill cam. Beautiful stuff right there. But yeah, moving on to the next game. So, World War II. Here we go. This is probably going to be the longest section in this video because World War II has like a million different snipers in it. It took me so long to get all the clips together for this game, but we got it done and we got flies hitting an absolute banger across the map. That is insane. One of the best shots in this whole video, honestly. That was insane. But anyway, we have Reaper hitting across the map on Sandbox with the free line and 
I have no idea how he hit this. If you can see in the kill cam, if it shows you, he like wall bangs it. Yeah, he like wall bangs the whole like rock thing. I don't know how he hit that. That was insane. Good shit, Reaper. But anyway, we actually have a clip by me. Now, the background story with this is Sean was streaming. I joined his game and I hit this like right in front of him. Completely unset up. I mean, it was a little bit of a barrel. But unset up in front of Sean, I just thought that was a really cool clip. And I have, I actually have another clip in here. One of my best clips ever. And you guys will see that in a second. But anyway, we actually have Winky hitting across the map with the M36. Now, I just want to give a quick shout out to Winky. Because he actually got on this game and hit with certain snipers. Because I could not find any. Like, the, I could not find any with some of these snipers. And he was like, yeah, let me get on. I'll hit some shots for you. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then, like, a day later, he was like, yeah, here you are. Here's all your shots. I was like, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Winky. You're the best. I really do appreciate it. His link is in the description if you guys want to check him out. I, I really do appreciate it. This video probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this man. And we actually have Winky once again. Like, look at this. The guy's a beast at the game as well. So yeah, I, I really do appreciate Winky if you're watching this, but if you are watching this, please change your name because I feel very weird saying Winky. It makes me feel very uncomfortable, but yeah, I appreciate you. Anyway, moving over to uh, the Lee Enfield. Now, I don't know if this clip is on the beta or not. It looks like it should be a beta shot because like, who's trick shot with the Lee Enfield? This gun sucks, but like at the same time, this shot is insane. And I feel like people wasn't going for shots like that on the beta, if that makes sense. But yeah, that was an, an insane shot. But anyway, we actually have me with probably one of my best trick shots ever. If not, my best trick shot ever. So I hit a paratrooper shot across the entire map. The guy was like sweating his ass off. He was such a tryhard. And there was one other guy at last. Yeah, that was insane. Definitely one of my best trick shots ever. But anyway... We have a two-piece across the map with the PTRS. Such an insane shot, man. Look at that. Honestly, how do you get that lucky? Like, with two-pieces, you have one opportunity to hit that two-piece. If you miss, you don't get another opportunity to hit that two-piece, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that was insane. But, anyway, we have three clips left. And we've got Stan the Man hitting a shot with the SDK. Now, this sniper... I think, I've never actually trick shot with it. I think it's like a hit marker machine. So I'm surprised he actually didn't hit marker. But yeah, that was cool. Um, with the phase camo, I didn't actually know that phase had a camo on this game. It looks kind of ugly. Okay, what have we got here? Not gonna lie, I put this video together like three months ago. Or I, I started putting it together like three months ago. So some of these clips I haven't seen for like three months honestly but we have winky hitting an absolute banger once again and we have the final clip right here this is one of the most random clips i've ever seen reaper hitting a random ass triple wall bang across the map on sandbox i have no idea how he hit that but that was a really nice shot into like the milk carton yeah that was so nice but anyway moving over to the next game so, we have Jinsu hitting one of the most iconic trick shots on Black Ops 4. I could not think of a more iconic shot than this. He does a grapple hook off the tree onto a ladder and slaps it, unset up. Yeah, that is insane. Jinsu is probably like one of the best trick shots we have ever had. He is so good at every game. I don't know how he does it, but yeah, that is insane. It got like a million views on Twitter. It blew up, such an insane shot. But yeah, moving over to the SDM and we have Reaper hitting a backdrop and I was actually in this game. So yeah, I witnessed that, that was kind of cool. But anyway, moving over to the Locust. Now, I actually had to pick a zombie's trick shot for the Locust because no one trick shots with this thing. I thought I would find at least one other clip with the Locust, but I could not find anything. That was the only one, so I had to take it, but it was still an insane shot. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. But yeah, we have my man here in an outlaw trick shot across the entire map. I, I don't even know what I just watched. This is insane. So the guy was camping in the corner. He kills him. 
and then he goes for a random two-piece and slaps it. Like, that is insane. Definitely one of the best trick shots I've ever seen on Black Ops 4. But yeah, anyway, moving over. Okay, this shot is private match. I should probably mention that. Uh, I could not find any shots with this sniper. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. I spent ages trying to find a shot with it, but I could not find one. No one trick shots with it. So yeah, we had to take a private match shot. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much, but still an insane shot. Like that was really nice. Uh, this shot here is also private match. Hopefully you guys don't mind. I could not find a shot with this sniper. If I had it, I would load up Black Ops 4 and hit a shot myself. But yeah, I could not find anything uh, other than this. So yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. But yeah, let's see that again in the kill cam. Bit of a weird shot. I don't know how to feel about it. It was very weird. It looked like he was trying to be complex. And it just looked a bit weird. I don't know. But still, that was the only one I could find. But anyway, the final clip right here. We have the Paladin. And my man just hits a random ass shot through the bus on Newtown. That was insane. He didn't get the kill cam, unfortunately. Ah, Modern Warfare 2019. I I hate this game. This game sucks, but it doesn't matter because we have Kanashi hitting an insane shot out the map, but doesn't get the kill cam, which is so stupid. I don't know why they done that. Like, just give us kill cam. It's so stupid. I bet player of the game was like a double kill or something like that. It's so dumb. But yeah, it doesn't matter because my man just hit a crazy shot with the HDR across the map. So clean, man. Look at that. Let's, uh, let's see that again in the kill cam. So he sort of goes for it out of the window and just slaps her. That was so nice. But yeah, moving over to the Dragonov. And my man put the shield down so he could get a bit more height, climb on this ledge bit. And he just slaps it across the map. That was really nice, by the way. That was so clean. I think that was set up, though. It looks like the guy was sort of just standing there. But I couldn't find any other clips with the Dragon Wolf, so I thought I'd use that. Still an insane shot, though. But yeah, moving over to the final clip. Now, I hate this game, but you have to respect this. My man gets a collat trick shot. A collat. That is insane. That is a dream clip right there. So yeah, you, you have to respect it. That was crazy. So nice, man. Beautiful. But yeah, moving over to Cold War. Okay, so we have a Black Ops Cold War. My man is on raid. He has the Tundra. That only means one thing. An absolute banger. Beautiful. Now, the only thing that I didn't like about Cold War Trickshot is if you go for a Sui, you die and then fall down. It looks horrible. It ruins the clip. I wish if it was like Black Ops 2 or MW2, where if you hit, you just fall down, you don't die. It looks so much better. Uh, but oh, yeah, Cold War, I actually really like Cold War. I, I thought this was it, a great game, tries. apart from the skill-based matchmaking. As a free-for-all player, the skill-based matchmaking really fucked me over. Uh, but yeah, I actually really like this game. But yeah, this shot is by me with the Pellington, and I just slapped that across the map. That was insane. That was actually hit like a few hours after the game released. I have my reaction to it and everything. Definitely one of my favorite clips I've ever hit. Even though it's a P-swap. But that was crazy. Uh, this shot right here. I don't even know how he hit that. I don't know where the guy was. But he does like an inspect and then just slaps it across the map. That was insane. Uh, this here is the final clip with the M82. And he hits a, a throw a knife to an insta swap and then just slaps it. While being out the map, by the way. That is definitely one of the best clips on this Cold War section. Insane stuff. Let's see that again in the kill cam. Yeah. Beautiful stuff right there. Ah, yep. Vanguard. This game, this game was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I think it was very underappreciated. Okay, yeah, imagine. No, this game sucks. But I will tell you what didn't suck, and that was the trick shot. I mean, look at this shot with the free line. This was insane. So nice. But yeah, trick shot was really annoying because this was like the one time that I really enjoyed trick shot on the game. And everything else about the game just sucks. It was so bad. But Trickshot was fun. Um, it was a really weird year for me. I mean, everyone hated this game. We all went back to, like, previous games. No one stayed on this game. 
Uh, very disappointing, to be honest, but it doesn't matter. Moving over to Red Star, I want to say this map is. I haven't played this map since the beta, which is kind of weird. But yeah, that was a nice little wallbang. I'm pretty sure that was set up, but it doesn't matter. It was a nice combo. And the one thing that also was really annoying is the kill cams were really short. I, I don't know why they done that. It cuts half of your trick shot hours. So dumb. But anyway, the final shot, the car 98 k Talon hit an elevator shot. Look at that. Insane. Elevators were so fun, man. I can't believe they patched it. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they patched it, but they were so fun. But yeah, moving over to Modern Warfare 2. Here we go, Modern Warfare 2. So this is the final game, and my man just hits an absolute banger. I mean, look at this. This is insane. But yeah, it's just been really weird watching like the evolution of COD Trickshot and how everything has changed so much over the years. It, it honestly makes me kind of sad just seeing like the run from like COD 4 up until BO2 and how fun that period was and then seeing what we get now. Like, don't get me wrong, like that was insane. The trick shots that people are hitting now is the best it's ever been. But there was just something about like COD 4 up until BO2, like that period, I, I just miss it. I wish, I wish we could go back. It was so fun. Uh, but anyway, moving on <laughs> to Racer. So he tags the guy there with a no scope and then he slaps an absolute banger on free for all. But unfortunately, he doesn't get the kill cam. But it's all good because my man is hitting one of the cleanest shots I have ever seen. Ever. That is so nice with the LAB. Uh, but yeah, look at this. It is so clean. The NSL was pulled off perfectly. Look at that. Such a nice shot, man. Beautiful. As much as I hate this game, you've got to respect the build cam when you see one. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was so nice. Moving over to the SPX. And my man is him once again. An absolute banger. And he also done like a little over the shoulder. You guys will be able to see that in the kill cam. But yeah, this looked so nice. Over the shoulder there. And then just slap the kid coming around the corner. That was so nice. But anyway, moving over to the final clip. And we have Bills hitting an out the map shot on the beta, by the way. This was on the beta. That is insane. Definitely one of the best shots on Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. But yeah, let's see that again in the kill cam. By the way, this shot is patched now. Like, you can't get up here, which makes it even better. But yeah, that was insane. That was one trick shot with every sniper in Call of Duty history. I kind of want to know how many people watched the whole video. So if you're watching this right now, go leave a comment saying Mr. Beast can't knack. Just so I can see who the real ones are. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This took so long to put together. So make sure you leave a like on the video. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.